Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on in their head? Well, researchers at the University of Arizona are studying how to better measure exactly that and how to stimulate the brain to treat pain or addiction. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish shows us how it all works. This looks like something you might see in a science fiction movie, but what it could be is the future of precise individual treatment for substance use disorders or chronic pain. You just feel like a little bit of a warm spot up here on both sides, but nothing else. Right now, treatment for people, let's say with chronic pain, it really has failed, as we know with the opiate epidemic and many other types of medications that result in all kinds of different side effects. So these U of A professors are studying a potential alternative treatment, partnering with company Nito, which designed this headwear. It uses several sensors on the scalp and two electrodes for transcranial direct current stimulation. It's showing a lot of promise with things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and epilepsy. They're targeting the prefrontal cortex or decision-making part of the brain. This is not shock therapy. It's at such a low level that we're not changing anything in the brain from the current itself. We're just setting up a, a situation where the brain kind of wants to change on its own. You think of it as, as a distraction. When a person has chronic pain, they keep thinking about it, mm -hmm. and that thinking about it makes it worse. Same with substance use disorder. If you can actually have somebody where it's breaking the pattern of this continual thought and this impulse to sort of say, I need to go out and actually go find some kind of substance. Before and after this distracting current, a computer tracks the rhythms of a patient's brain. This device would allow us to be able to say, is there a certain pattern within the brain uh, that we can see that fits not only individuals, but do we see some kind of general pattern with all of the patients? And one day, using those patterns with artificial intelligence could allow the device to adjust the current for each patient giving each person a more specific treatment. And that's really what we're looking at here. How can we help people perceive things, respond to things differently, and make decisions that are um, going to improve their symptoms? For more information or how you can participate, head to kgun9.com. Ryan Fish, kgun9 on your side. And Dr. Huff says regarding the treatment, there are no reported health risks in otherwise healthy individuals, but the U of A study will not include people with known brain injuries.